I'm going to talk to you about um, Barcelona's and Atletico Madrid's performance when they played each other. So, um, I analysed the game for the first 20 minutes. Um, I was observing the amount of possession they had to start with. Um, in total, Atletico had 223 touches in the first 20 minutes, and this um, in percentage is 32% possession. When I observed Barcelona for the same 20 minutes, um, Barcelona had 473 touches of possession, which is 68%, and all those touches, and from all those touches, I managed to score twice. Um, okay, so the next thing I'm going to go on to is how many touches in different areas. So, <coughs> Barcelona had, s no, Atletico Madrid, sorry, had seven passes in the A and B zone, which is basically about um, three quarters of the pitch forward from their goal. So, they're like defensive line. Um, so, basically, if they were just passing it around this area, Barcelona wouldn't really be bothered because they're not going to really score from that far away. Um, slightly further up the field in the C and D zone, which is like around the, the about probably 15 yards forward, 15, 20 yards forward, around the halfway zone. Um, Atletico Madrid had 27 passes. Um, Barcelona would probably be a bit more concerned, but still, it's not really a problem. If they were to obviously travel into Barcelona's half, then obviously they start to close them down and try and get the ball, try and keep possession. Um, uh, Barcelona had 28 passes in their half, in their eight H and G zone. So again, that's by like their goal. Um, Atletico aren't worried again because they're not going to score from there. Barcelona had 36 passes from around the halfway line. Atletico will probably start to close them down, but. They probably won't, to be honest. Um, Barcelona is going to do successful dribbles and unsuccessful dribbles. Barcelona had 22 successful dribbles and um, 8 unsuccessful dribbles. Just a good percentage because obviously you want more successful than unsuccessful. Um, whereas Atletico, Atletico do tend to dribble the ball more, but they, whereas Barcelona tend to pass it, and then they dribble when they get close to the goal, and then they try to make the goal look good. Um, but that didn't really work because Atletico only had like one shot in the first twenty minutes or so, and Barcelona scored about three times, so passing does tend to be more effective. Um, overall strengths of Barcelona um, probably their passing because their passing is really accurate they pretty much didn't make an error um, there's not really much I can say for Barcelona to be honest areas for improvement um, perhaps try something different because obviously it worked at times when they was passing, but I think Atletico at times do close their players down really quick because they were anticipating what they were going to do because they always pass the ball a lot and try and dribble it around the area if they're trying to cross the ball in. They could really change things, make things a bit more unexpected. Um, Atletico's overall strengths, um, they weren't having a good game, so I can't really judge it all on this one game, but because I am, um, their strengths were. They were keeping the ball fairly well, but no one really seemed that interested. They had a couple of shots, but nothing really. Um, areas for improvement, perhaps a bit more communication. Um, they looked a bit lost with the ball, they didn't know what to do with it. Um, things like that, really.